Bob on at the minute, but I just tested then a um, little bit, well, dead on, but I still had a bit of clothing on, so by the time I've taken that off, I'll be fine. But even if when I get on the scales, I'm 63.0, that's fine, so nothing to worry about. Oh, you're fine, but it's not even. The extra pressure of you filming this is... Tell you what, I'm pretty proud of that. What is it? Uh, just some protein, just to get it all back into my system. Um, for confidence, just to lose it to rehydrate, to dehydrate a little bit. So, yeah, it's all ready to go. Nutella sandwiches, getting all that sugar back in, not any carbs for a few days, so getting all that energy back in, ready to go. That's alright, as long as you make weight, you eat as much as you can, didn't you? So yeah, and then diet started yesterday really, so I'm not counting out of the diet day. That's good. <laughs> it's a starvation day, was it? And then she got here a few hours ago, got on the test scales and was 63 dead, you can't argue with that. Perfect way in. <laughs> Sip of water, just to keep yourself ticking over. So we're here at the British Championships, which is our final Olympic qualifying event. Walking up to the platform, it's just a case of I walk across, get my chalk, um, take in the atmosphere of what's going around, because obviously there's a lot of noise from the audience, things like that. Um, st stand to the back of the platform, uh, I wait there for the 30 second buzzer, just so that it doesn't put me off as I'm approaching the bar. Um, and as I'm approaching the bar, it's a case of I have a couple of cues for myself, um, maybe just back tight, chest up, um, but it's more a fact that relying on, you know, for hours and hours of training in, just knowing that I can do it, I've done it every day in training, today's no different, um, just to go out there and perform and do the best that I can do. Sixteen kilos for the first attempt to Sarah Davis. regardless of in competition or out of competition. PB snatch in competition, you know, to, I had a bit of a mental block with 90 kilos, so to have 91 on the bar, get it, and then have a pretty decent crack at 93, you know, I'm happy with that. Um, I had to do the 120 to get my 211 Olympic qualifier. If I'd have gone for 16 again, yeah, I might have got it. 
but it wasn't worth that risk, you know, with the Olympic Games on the cards, especially after, you know, what happened to Zoe, unfortunately, she had quite a of injury, um, I had to go for it, you know, if I, if I hadn't have put it on the bar, I'd have left with a lot of regret, but I put it on the bar, gave it a good go, and I can't have done better than that, really. So. Um, so yeah, the last six months have been a little bit of a roller coaster for me. Um, started off at the English Champs back at the back end of January. Um, wasn't a great competition. Didn't make a total there. Um, you know, I had a lot to go for there. It was a case of again putting the weight on the bar to try and beat um, some of the best lifters in the 63 category, so that I didn't have to move down a category. Um, unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, so I went to the European 58 kilo lifter. So I had to lose kind of six, seven kilos, which, um, you know, I sit quite lean anyway um, as a 63 lifter, so I lost a little bit of muscle mass going into that, and um, my performance was okay at the Europeans, I was, I was satisfied with it, I would say I was happy with it, um, and then coming into the British Championships, I guess, going back to the 63 kilo category, I didn't quite have that time to fill the body weight back out to gain the muscle mass the same. Um, yeah, and today it was a case of put it on the bar, you know, there was no point me you know, being soft with it, I had to get that 120. Um, that was my Olympic qualifying total, and if I hadn't got that today, then I would have left pretty disappointed that I hadn't even given myself the chance. So it was a case of giving myself the chance to do it, um, just so that I, you know, left that satisfaction. Um, I've only been in the sport for, what, four and a half years, so to even be in the, the chance of going to the Olympics, and I gave it a crack and go, but it just, just wasn't my day, so can't complain. Yeah, weightlifting's you know it's a it is a sport of up and downs, and it's a case of you're only in control of what you can do on the day. You can't um, you can't control what everyone else is doing. It's not like you know on a football field on a rugby pitch. You know there's there's tactics you can play. It's you're as strong as you're on the day, and they're as strong as they are on the day, and it's whoever comes out on top. And you know it is it is an addictive sport really because you you always want that extra kilo. You always want that little bit more. You always want to beat that person. So you know it's a great sport to get into, and it's really great that you. Can, you can measure your success so easily um, obviously with other sports team sports things like that you know it's great fun and you do it with other people which I guess has that benefit to it but you can't necessarily as easily um, you know how you're progressing and, and gaining that difference so I definitely recommend weightlifting to anyone that's thinking about it I'm in good shape now I'm strong um, the size of my bottom is quite often a conversation starter wherever I go even if I've never met the person before um, so yeah, why pay for your bum when you can swat it?